Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own Facebook ad with Canva. Canva is a free platform that allows you to create a design, whether it's for your presentation, document, video, etc. They have a lot of templates, but they also offer you some paid membership in case you want to enjoy more benefit than the free account one. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Facebook ads with the free account. If you're new to this, if you don't know yet what kind of Facebook ads you would like to create, don't worry because you can just go ahead and click on these templates button on the left side of your screen and then you can type out Facebook ad on the search bar and then Canva is going to show you a lots of templates that you can take a look around and you can choose from the available templates, you can customize it and create your Facebook ads from there. So these are the results of Facebook ads when you are entering Facebook ads keywords to the search box. As you can see, there is a lots of templates that you can choose from. There are ads for giveaway, ads for business agency, and so on. You can choose from any of these templates and just customize it to however you want it to be. Another trick that you can do if you want to create your own Facebook ads that will do well on Facebook, what you're going to do is that you can try and remember the names of the people that you feel have similar business field with you. And then you can try and search up their ads on Facebook. If you think that the only way you can do that is by clicking on each profile of the person you have in mind, you're wrong because there is another way that you can look at the ads that people are running on Facebook and I'm going to show you how. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on your search bar and you're going to want to type out facebook.com slash ads slash library. And this page is where you can see all of the running ads that people might have on Facebook. All you have to do is just to insert the name on the text box but before that you're going to make sure that the locations are set to all instead of just on the current location that you're in and then you can type out their name after you select the ad category. You can choose whether the ads is going to be all ads or it's just going to be issues about elections or politics. I don't think we're going to look for that for now so we're going to go ahead and click on all ads. And then you can type in the name of the person that you think have the same vibes with the business that you're running or let's say if you're an influencer or you're a motivational speaker and you know that there are some people who shares the same ideas with you, you can go ahead and try to search for them. Or you can also search for some more generic keyword. For example, here I am inserting jewelry on my search bar. And you will see that there is a lot of jewelry stores that putting on their ads on Facebook. And then you can see the example of some of the pictures that they put, what kind of ads they're putting in, the wording, everything. And I have one person in mind that I think have the same idea or the same vibes with me. So the first person is May Robbins. I kind of like her contents and everything so I'm going to see if Mail Robbins actually have any Facebook ads and as you can see there are several Facebook ads that we can see but most of the ads that they are doing are video we can actually make videos on Canva but for today's tutorial I'm just going to show you how we can create a Facebook ads post in the form of pictures so I don't think I can use Mel Robbins for example for today, but I'm just going to show you that you can actually see more details of the ads by clicking on one of the ads you feel are interesting. And then as you can see, Facebook is going to show you some more details about what that ads looks like. You can even play the ads video so you don't have to go all the way through to search into her profile just to try to find which one is the ads and which one is just a regular post. Since we can't use Mel Robbins as our example for today, I'm going to try and find another person that I know I like, which is Mary Forleo. And for the result, I can see that she puts up quite a lot of Facebook ads and I'm going to try to see how it looks like. This one seems pretty 
simple and I'm going to try and scroll around again to see what kind of ads she put on Facebook. She also has some video ads but again I'm not going to focus on that for now. Here is an ad that most of them are filled with wordings. I want to try to find an ad that has some pictures on it. This one seems nice. I think this one is more of like testimonials. And then she turns it into an ad. So does the right one over here. And yeah, I think I'm going to use this one as an example later. And this one on the right also seems easy to make too. So those two are going to be our example for today. Later on, I'm going to teach you how you can create an ad that looks just like that, just with Canva. And here we are back in Canva. So I'm going to try and add Facebook as my keyword on the searching box again. And what I'm trying to search is the one that has the exact same size or the exact same measurement with the ads that we just see. So I ended up clicking on the one by one Facebook ads. As you can see, the ads that we're going to try to recreate is the square one. And the ads consist of a pictures as well as some wording. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the pictures of Marie Folio. I'm going to try to find the most similar pictures or we don't actually have to do that. We can just use whatever pictures we want. I'm just going to try to find a similar one for this tutorial. But if you're making it for your own, please feel free to use any pictures. But I recommend you to use something that looks like this, which is it is uh, formal, but it's not too stiff. So you will look relaxed on it, but it also look professional. So I have saved that one pictures of Marie Folio earlier, and I think I'm going to use this one as my other pictures. Now that we have our photos, we are going to start and create our ads design. So the first thing that I notice about that one design is that it has a colored background. So what you're going to do is that you're going to want to change the color of the background for this tutorial. I'm going to recreate the ads, so it's going to be pink. You can change the colors of your website by clicking on the color box beside the positions button on top of your screen. And then you can just choose the color you want from there. And after adding my color, I, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add up those two pictures that I just downloaded. And then I'm going to add my pictures into the design. To add your pictures, you can just simply click on that picture and then it's going to appear in the middle of your design. And then as you can see, I still have my white background here. You can actually delete the background directly from Canva because they offer you a background remover, but you can only use that benefit if you are on subscription or you're using a paid account. So for today, I'm just going to leave the background B and I'm going to position it in the center of my design, but I'm also going to bring it down a little bit so that I can put a wording on top of her head. After I'm satisfied with what it looks like, I'm going to go back to Facebook and try to see what the wording that she put on her Facebook ads so that I can try and recreate it on Canva. So to add your text, you can go to the text sections on the left side menu of your screen and then you can just click on add text box and you can start typing on the text box by double clicking on it and then you can just type out whatever you want. For this tutorial, the wording that she put is what are your dreams? worth it to you so I'm going to try and create that but I also noticed that the wording what are and worth to you have quite similar if not the same font but dreams are different fonts than the rest of the text so the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create the first two similar font wording and then I'm going to create the other one later after I finish my first two wording. Since I'm not really sure with what type of fonts that she used in her ads, I'm just going to go ahead and try to find the one that looks similar with the one that she have. I think this one will work well. Obviously, if you're doing your ads, you can do whatever font you feel are good for you. If you want to change the font, you can go ahead and click on the font selection on the top left of your menu. It's beside the font size. 
you can go ahead and click on that and then there's going to be a selection of font that you can choose all right so these are the text that i'm going to use for now i ended up using a cursive font for the dreams wording and then the next thing that i noticed is that she has a line under the word dream and you can insert your line or any other element really on the element section so you can just go ahead and click on elements and then you can type out what are the elements that you would like to insert into your ads for me i'm just going to use a line right now and it already appeared on the main menu of the elements so i'm just going to go ahead and edit and then i'm going to stretch it out by dragging on the little circles on the edge of my lines you can do that you can adjust your lines by dragging each one of them doesn't matter really both works really well and that's it and that is our first ads now i'm going to try and give you another example by recreating another ad that Mary Folio had and i decided to choose this one to recreate so since that one seems like have the same ratio with the first ads that we create, what we're going to do is that we're just going to add more page in the same working file on Canva and then we're just going to try and change the background colors. Again, it doesn't really have to be the exact same one with what I'm using or what your reference is. Because the pictures that I'm going to use is this one. It has a lot of brown tone. So I'm just going to go ahead and use brown as my background. And here I am adjusting the pictures that I want to use. You can adjust and enlarge and also stretch the pictures by simply clicking on the little dots on the very edge of each corner as well as the white oval on each side of your photo. So here I am just adjusting my pictures because the pictures originally came in bigger ratio so I have to adjust it and make it fit into these square ratio that I have. And again I'm just adding some wording into my ads design and as you can see instead of adding just a regular text box I ended up adding one of the font combination templates that Canva have so that is another option that you can do. You can also choose from the font combination in order to create some wording so that it has more variation and everything. And that is how you can create your own Facebook ad. This one specifically is for the one with one by one ratio. Obviously you can go ahead and try to create the other one with another ratio, another pictures as well as another wordings. And once you're done with your design, what you're going to do is that you're going to download your Facebook ads. You can do that by clicking on share, scroll all the way down on the drop down menu and then click on download. And that is how you can create your own Facebook ads. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.